、まあ、仕事してないと言ってもですねもう僕ら実は6年間ノンストップクスマス。We'll soon be able to have some time off for the first time in six years. At one point, I couldn't go home for four months until the master was completed. I had to bring my bed into the office. Looking back, it's extraordinary that I spent so much energy within a certain space of my life. One thing I'm sure of is that it will all have been worth it. Kazunori Yamauchi is the producer of Gran Turismo. Launched in Japan on the 28th of April, GT3 contains many significant improvements on GT2. Here he takes us through some of the most important developments. Let me see, what is the most significant development? First of all, the number of frames was increased to 60 per second. So in Europe it's up from 25 to 50 frames. That means that the volume of information per second is doubled. And the resolution is doubled vertically and horizontally as well. And the force feedback steering wheel is an important addition. You can actually feel bumps in the road and resistance when turning. It adds greatly to the realism of the experience. We succeeded in reflecting the scenery on cars this time. It only expressed the atmosphere surrounding the cars before, but now when a car runs under trees, the body reflects them. And when a car comes under a billboard, we can see it gliding across the paintwork. The body reflects the edge of the road and everything. We can also express metallic colors, which was impossible with GT2. Careful cooperation with major car manufacturers has enabled the team to build in game versions of cars that may be as much as two years from the market. The Lancer Evolution 7 was included in the game before the actual car went on sale, and players will be able to test Nissan's new Z series and the Mazda RX 8. Long before real life drivers get the chance. There are 200 cars in the game, but it took great effort to make one car, dozens of times more than GT2. We put huge energy into it. There are only 200 of them, but the value of each car is priceless. We produced one car a day with Gran Turismo 2. It took at least one month to make a car this time. When you choose one, you'll feel as if you received a precious gift. I'd like everyone to enjoy it that way. GT3 features many courses with varying road conditions, such as dirt tracks and rain. Each course has its own peculiar details which affect the quality of the driving, such as low friction on wet roads and realistic handling on the dirt tracks. The night course has always been featured in the Gran Turismo series, and this time we showered the night course with rain. We imagined how beautiful it would be to have night course in rain, as there's so many different kinds of lights. The road surface reflects them. We could see splendid scenery in our heads and decided to design a wet course in town at night. The wet road surface has very low friction, and cars behave, how can I put it, they're unstable. You need to drive very delicately. In order to open GT3 out to a wider audience, many game modes have been introduced for first time players, but without compromising the highly technical aspect of the simulation. The physics model has become even more realistic, and although driving the game is far more complex, the cars are actually easier to drive. The process of making the physics model is done in our heads. It's to do with imagination. We think how cars should be, the tyres and steering and so on. The car's behaviour is a result of this process. We believe that when you drive it, you will understand how a real car behaves. The calculation is a hundred times more accurate this time. It enables the physics model to express subtle nuances, so I think you can feel the relation between the front tyres and road surface. Which was impossible before. The driving feel used to be rougher, but it's much more delicate now. It means it's much easier to drive. Improvements in the game's artificial intelligence programming create a far greater degree of realism than was previously possible. The game can now provide such fierce competition that only the most experienced players will be able to compete. 
The artificial intelligence will be faster than most players this time. It doesn't mean that it has become a tougher game to play, just that the artificial intelligence is cleverer than before and drives like a human. The race has become more exciting and realistic. The artificial intelligence is doing its best on the track, just like a human does. You can probably feel the difference when you play against it. Gran Turismo established the idea of running replays after a race is over. Other racing games followed suit, and in an effort to stay ahead, Polyphony have featured a replay function which is synchronized to music. The game selects the camera angles, cuts automatically, and synchronizes to whichever music is chosen from the large soundtrack library. The number of output channels doubled with PlayStation 2, so engine noise is more full. We managed to reproduce wind noise this time and road noise, the sound of the tyres moving across the road surface. These sounds have much more depth this time. You'd be surprised by the sound quality when you connect it to a proper audio system. The inclusion of iLink technology has made it possible to link up to six PS2s together and compete with real players. Although the number of potential users of such a function may as yet be limited, Yamauchi believes that by including it, an increasing number of players will eventually come to accept it as a standard, paving the way for a future network version of Gran Turismo. As a package title game, as a standalone game, we did everything we can. There isn't anything to be done, basically. Gran Turismo 3 is probably the final version of pre-network Gran Turismo. The future Gran Turismo will have development in the network area. I'm not thinking of just a simple racing game between networked players, even if I accept real-time racing as a function. I'm planning it to be something more. We're actually planning it with the name of GTN. It's an equivalent of GT4 and will be out next year at the earliest. It might be delayed and nothing is certain. We made an announcement of Gran Turismo Network, GTN, at the GT3 launch party in Japan the other day. It's not going to be a simple online battle game. We're planning something interesting at the moment. I think Gran Turismo is the sort of software which makes a dream real. In a sense, the quality is excessive. It's a characteristic of Gran Turismo that includes everything up to the point of excess. There are some staff members who weren't interested in cars before GT, and they love cars now, working with GT. The car enthusiasts are growing in number. It's our baby, raised by our team till recently. When I see so many users surrounding it, it's extremely moving. <laughs> 